and the show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Your discretion is advised. I ain't a fucking chooch. When the warden returned to the island, we made it look like the fresh fish was uh, causing some havoc. But we didn't know the warden was gonna take it so far. If I do it again, oh, no, no, no. if we, I do it again, if I do it again, no, 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 no. If you killed him, and you got his gun, then what? Because I guarantee you, you wouldn't be as fucking humble as you are now, motherfucker. So word into the tree. What are your last words, inmate? Give me your name. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, your name that. and soul is what I- Where is it? Jack Sand. What are your last words? I don't want last words, that's the thing. Thing, I- Come on. So come on. Bitch. Please, come on, come on, come on. Take his ass to solitary. Hope you go in, mate. <laughs> I think he shot himself. Come on! Put Jack's hands in solitary, and let's just say this may be one of the worst first days for a fresh fish in here. I was put back in my cell in Supermax by the one and only Tate Hollows. Have a good day, Warden. I was hoping you wouldn't do a surprise raid in my cell. Mm -hmm. Heck, I was hoping my radio was even still there. It was hidden inside the mattress in a small hole I made on the wall side. Luckily, it was still there. I had to wait till nighttime to do my call. I could only hope someone would answer. Hello? 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 Yeah, anybody out there? Please answer. I really need your help. Hello? Jesus. Anybody can hear this. Please answer. If you can help me, I'll make it worth your while. That's when Alex Volkov answered from a group called Lobeck. Ah, uh, hello. How did you get this frequency? If you need help, I guess you got the right people. Where are you? Shit. Okay, okay. First things first, I want you to understand I'm not a bad guy, okay? I don't know if you've heard of this prison island. It's called Estellus. There's these people. They're fucking crazy. They're called Regulators. Uh, they think they're like the gods here and shit. And they're holding up a lot of people. Including me. All that because I tried to defend myself. And now I might get executed. I've been here for like a year. I'm going crazy in here and I need to get out. Most of us, if not all of us, don't really deserve to be in here. If you can help me, I'll provide anything you want, okay? Once we're out of here, weapons, drugs, anything, you name it. I will owe you a big one. And I always repay my debts. So let me get this straight. You want me to take my boys up against a fortified island, extract you from within the prison block, and get you safely to the mainland for you to what? Run off? We always say we do not bow to the twist of the evil. We protect the good and the helpless. So by that, we will help you get out of there. Thank you so much. That is all I wanted to hear. The next person who's going to contact you is a god by the name Mike. He's not like the others. He'll arrange a meeting with you, to which he will forward you my plan, and hopefully everything goes well. Thank you. Just as I was getting worried about Alfie, they decided to put us back together in our cell, as we were uh, good boys. They put me on death row, Jill. Oh no! <sighs> I got my appeal today, though. I think I'm gonna Thank do you very much, Warden. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Cover me. All right, man. Glad to hear. I appreciate it. They trade. I think I'll beat him up just for talk. Don't worry. We ain't stupid. Yeah. We put her in the same turn around. Well, turn back her. Gentlemen, what the hell did you... What? He walked toward me. I, I hit him with my baton. I told him not to turn around. We did. Oh, well, that was justified then. His dumbass patches nose. No, 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 no. Keep your eyes towards the... <laughs> Move your head, uh, Move tilt your it head backwards, Dal. <sighs> Okay. Turn around. Listen, I uh, I was able to uh, 
I gotta get somewhere. Get contact with the outside. <laughs> There's this group of people, and uh, they'd be willing to uh, lend us a little hand, you know, for a small price. I'll take care of that. But, uh, uh really, the yeah, price. Anymore. It's just details there, Alfie. Don't need to worry, like I said. But, uh, we're gonna get out of here, Alfie. <laughs> we're gonna get out of here. I've had a few words with Johnny myself. He seems trustworthy. Oh, he absolutely is. Almost like a brother already. <laughs> I like that guy. Good. He's gonna be coming with us. He's on, he's on death row, you see. We need to make sure he well, doesn't get killed. He's gonna survive this. Apparently, someone might be onto Michael. So we gotta watch out for that. He, so he told me the second in command was, uh, was aware of everything going on. I don't know, something like that, so. Uh, Matthew. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, I might be able to talk to Matthew and get us, him off our trail. I think he trusts me too. Yeah, because if not, then uh, I fear I might have to take matters into my own hands. Both the Fresh Fish and Johnny were on death row. Today was their appeal. The warden likes to have prisoners as witnesses. Synthesis was there along with Alfie and I. Philip Smith and Kamal Williams, or Blue, were also there. I always respected them, they always respected me. Now state why you were put on death row. Uh, count as my... Uh, my, uh... My wife, the bitch, <laughs> what had I like to call it, you know, fucking skank, uh, my son, uh, eight, he was eight, yeah. so, uh, uh, why I shouldn't be put on death row, because, hmm, I think a lifetime sentence in this shithole would be pretty fucking horrible. You know, I'd ever been able to see land again. I don't remember murdering him. My, my wife and my, my child. My child had cancer. He wasn't going to make it. The doc said he had a 1 out of 100% chance of making it. Hold on, hold on. I, I have one thing to say for my defense. Now, we, we've talked before, yes. What was the reason uh, you uh, you can't remember why? Yeah, my my defendant here was under the influence of uh, some hard narcotics. Now, what, what what exactly were those narcotics, my friend? Uh, what cocaine? I... Doctor Falrich, as you were the only medical physician here because of uh, Commander Williams' absence right now. Does cocaine, even in severe cases of uh, abuse and usage? Does that account for blackout? No, cocaine does not black you out. Uh, it can make you extremely unstable, perhaps, but you would still remember exactly what you did. And you still have maybe not a lot of cognitive function, but you have, still have some kind of cognitive function. I would like to emphasize the fact that I don't quite think you gave a shit, because even when you're under the influence, when you're so-called high, unless it was a drug like PCP, I, I think you knew what you were doing personally through the um, entire time. You must, you, must bring, you must bring up the grief he must have been feeling at the time. I believe the man may have been either intoxicated by the cocaine, I'm not sure how, but he may have been. Or by depression or grief. It's happened before and people, I have seen it before, people being boggled by grief and depression. He says here, and this comes from his own lips of course, but that his son was bitten three to four days after the outbreak. And that the reason he killed his wife was because of a more of a pa more of a kind of passion that his wife had been uh, cheating on him for many many years. About apparently what was it four years? Yes. Of course he could be lying, if but this he is able to recall that situation, that sequence of events. Yes, yes. Let's proceed. Well, what do you? What's your, what's your inquiry, Sergeant? Well, uh, uh, let me just say this out loud. He had not brought that up whatsoever after I've asked him for his story multiple times. Sergeant Major raised a very valid point. Why is he just now remembering this? He's obviously not been recently under any influence of such narcotics, so there's no reason for him to magically uh, remember something that fucking major. But proceed with your defense, and let this be your closing argument, please. I'm pretty sure Mr. I Johnny... I believe this man... Yes, yes, of course. We don't have all day, of course. Um, 
I believe this man, he may not be innocent of his crimes, yes, but is he truly a bad man? Is he truly, in any essence, is there really a bad man? Now it is, first yep. of all. But, uh, I would like to interject he truly right there and uh, state yeah. that I did find a weapon, or uh, by me I mean Sergeant Major found a weapon under the man's mattress <sighs> today. Your, your cell was clean when we put you in there. We checked him before and after. Okay. Mm. Is that ever if you found the other one, then I would have the other one. Right, so you're, anyway, regardless, you already admitted you had one. No, I'm not going to excuse his nature of the contraband, but of course, he could have been having it to, one, protect himself. This inmate had assaulted me, and, uh, unless I remember, my jaw was dislocated for a day. Sure. Eight, no. After he had uh, attempted to oh, shake an you inmate. The... Were you the individual? Because uh, I know Alfie was the man somebody was trying to shank. I didn't realize it was this man. Yes. I was there. I was there. He had also attempted to escape right. by climbing one of the ladder towers. That would be three no, counts of attempted escape. No, that's bullshit because I'd probably be Backup. shot. Let me speak. That would bring us tally to three attempted escapes. One by climbing that's an area. He was in a restricted zone. Shut your fucking mouth when I'm talking. No, you shut your fucking mouth, you piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, sir, may I? No. Sir, I... Oh. Oh. Shut the fuck up. All right. I'll unbag his head. No, I've had... I've, I've seen this before in this very prison. I've seen this before. I can testify for myself in this. Is that he said that he was one framed for the attacking of that man. No, that he punched him. Punched himself. No. Now. Bullshit. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I have two. two I two think we've heard enough. Excuse me. Quiet. Quiet. I think quiet, we've please. heard enough. After much deliberation down below, we both feel that there are many holes in your story. We don't quite see that you are ready for improvement on any aspect of anything, quite frankly, and you left evidence that would have been crucial for your original sentence behind. With that being said, as well as the testimony of the people that uh, claimed they saw you attempt to attack a guard, plus oh. your obvious three attempted to escape. Jack Sands was found guilty and sentenced to death before nightfall, but not before Johnny's appeal. Alright, state your name, prison number, and I would like to know what you've been charged with. Uh, yes, sir, Warden. Uh, name's Johnny. Johnny E. Robinson, prisoner number 1334. I was, uh, charged with, uh, serial killers. Um, I was also charged with extortion and, uh, uh, a whole, whole bunch of other stuff. I, I mean, do we really need to get into the details of everything I was charged with? You may uh, open up with your case, there. Johnny. Open up with Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, yeah, I was in New York, uh, they, they tried to charge me on, um, on all these killings, they called me the smiley face killer, uh, they, well, they tried to charge me with, uh, saying, uh, I was painting, painting these little smiley faces around, uh, the victims of the, uh, people that were, uh, that drowned to death, uh, they were college boys, but, no offense, I never went to school, so, uh, <laughs> I didn't have any reason to be around any college boys or nothing like that. To sum things up, they never had the substantial amount of evidence against me, no DNA proof. Uh, I don't know what else to say except, I mean, I'm innocent of this crime. I, I didn't do it. Uh, I would never hurt a fly. This, uh, when did this, when the smiley face killings actually happen? How many, uh, how many months, years, how long ago? They say it was started up in 1984. And I was, uh, I was only three years old right then. Now you see, this seems quite straightforward that he did not kill those people, obviously. Now there are chances that he's a copycat, but when did they end? Uh, they say they, they stopped in 1990. Oh, that was, uh, let's see. I'm not good with math. Like I said, I never really went to school. If we were to release you today, what would you do different? Oh, I'd turn over a new lathe. I look for my uh, myself a little house on a. If there's prairies out there, I I don't know. I haven't I been out in a long time. <laughs> Live off the land. Well, with that being said, I'll deliver the verdict. We here, the Supreme High Court of Estellas, found you to be in good means with your uh, attempted appeal, and we have accepted your appeal. You've been effectively removed off death row because we cannot pin the serial murders on you. You will no longer be serving a life imprisonment, uh, said the solve of it. For assault and attempted murder, you will be sentencing 
20 years imprisonment and maximum security confinement. So because Johnny attacked a lot of guys while he was in here, he wasn't getting death sentence, but he was going to stay for a long while. And after the appeals, it was yard time, where I talked with Blue and Philip into joining us. Keep an eye out there, uh, Johnny. Let me know if... Uh... Yeah, I got you. Yeah, any of the screws get over here. I also had right. Joey there to help me convince them. Listen, boys. I'm sure we all want out of this shithole. I sure as hell fucking want out. Don't you? You guys want to stay here? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, fuck this place. Bunch of chooch guards. All up on the fucking cases, trigger happy sons of bitches. These guys are fucked up in the head. Listen, I want out just as much as you guys. So, uh, if you're in, I have a way out. <laughs> the plan's coming pretty soon. Man. Oh, shit. Yeah, we need a lot of people. As much as we can get, you know what I'm saying? Better chances for everybody. Now, I'm not saying you're not gonna die out of this, but you know, <laughs> it's better than fucking staying here forever. And then I had a quick chat with Synthesis. I need you to start analyzing something else. Be willing, uh, willing to do that? The guards, the patrols, anything on a schedule, you know what I'm saying? I know a little bit myself, but, uh, it's always nice to know what they're doing. Yeah, I know, but you could hear doors. I move from cell to cell too much, I can't keep track, so keep an analyze on that. Times, when doors open, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you do see a guard, walk right by your little window. Yeah, and yeah, we'll try to find you some paper. The sun was slowly going down, which meant it was time for Jack Sands execution. May God have mercy on your soul, my friend. Prisoners, I urge you to watch as this is what happened to you if you continue to break the rules while under our care. <clears throat> Prisoner Jack Sands, 23 years of age. Prison number 41 is being sentenced to death for two counts of murder in the first degree. I'm sorry for being me. I'm sorry for hurting my son. I'm sorry for killing my wife out of anger. See you soon, Jack Jr. Later that night, Michael was going to leave to the mainland to go meet the people who would help us get out of here. I needed to forward my plan to them, but it was too dangerous to do over the radio. Michael, come here. I got a note. Give them the plan. I'll pass it through the door here. Fuck, don't let anybody see this. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. This is important, don't Mike. Like I got it, don't worry. I fucking hope this works. Next morning, it was time to tell the plan to the boys. In order to huddle up like this and talk, we had to pretend to the guards that we were making a big play for entertainment purposes. But there was this one churn Russian guy by the name of Vaskan Neistat. We just called him Rusky, and holy shit was he annoying, wanting to know what we were doing. Wait, 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 why are we discussing improv, Mr. Uh, you, you, uh... You don't need to worry about that. You just need to head over there or something like that. Let us discuss this. Hey, buddy, if you don't mind. Buddy, you, uh, you know, you know I've, I've reconsidered your uh, your offer. You know what? I, I think boxing is a pretty good idea right about now. There you go. Let's have boxing. Let's have boxing. Let's, let's do it over here. Hey, Blue. Good thing my boy Jack the Fan knew what to do to distract Rusky. We could discuss the uh, improv play. Okay. Guys, keep this in mind. I'm gonna relay this information to the other guys inside later. Tuesday. That's the big fucking day. You all get ready. Here's how it's gonna happen. We're gonna need a distraction. Get a lot of the guards off the fucking island. 
You get what I'm saying? I explained the whole plan to the guys, and they would relay this information to the others later. Unfortunately for Jack, he didn't last this little boxing session. So Rusky came Don't right back. Get that. God damn, that little American can't handle the pump. What, what time is what? Oh, nothing. We talking about the times of the play. The show? Oh, okay. Yeah, the show. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good show. You know, really oh, good show. Good. I'm, de I'm definitely ready to, uh, to play my part. It's probably a good idea. We you know both by the way, I know what show stands for. Fine. Obviously, Rusky was no idiot. It was time to talk. You know how far we are in sales? Two cells and the vents connect to each other. Late night, sir, you want to listen on it. I should know a lot about your little plan with the uh, <laughs> corrupt office. What the fuck you talking about? What the fuck do you know? So you listen to me. You listen. You're either going to be good for me. Respect me. But I swear to God, I will have your guts on my stick. And I'll make sure you're here until the day you die. You talking to the wrong fucking guy. Friend, don't make me see you this. Yeah, straight through your ear canal. To your brain. Fucking calm down, you son of a bitch. You don't want to do this. Not right now. What the fuck do you want? You're gonna give me the respect that I need. Huh? You're gonna treat me like a kid? So what the fuck do you want? Let them to be uh, respectful. Let them know who they're talking to. Let them know they're gonna fuck with me. They're gonna screw you over bad. Give you a little ass thing. Yeah, we'll see about that. We're done. Hey, 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 come back here. Come back here, right? Right now. We're done when I say we're done. It's only you good, man. Shit! Oh, son of a bitch! Fuck Little you, fucking Jewish! Who the fuck you think you are? Fucker! Fuck! fuck stabbed me with that fucking thing! They fucking stabbed me! Yeah, fucking you fucking chooch, you're fucking with the wrong guy! The motherfucker got the fucking hey, the screwdriver or something in his head. Hey! Get the fuck's your problem? Oh, jeez! Right. Oh, I'm bleeding. Uh, oh, help, Doctor. Joey. Fuck this fucking son of a bitch. You fucking dead. You fucking dead. We were taken to the medical ward so the doc could check our wounds. I was really preoccupied by Rusky's plan to fuck us up. All right, Tony. Since yours is only an arm wound, I'm gonna check you out in a second. This is a fucking. He's got a cut on his face. All right, let's check yeah, out. Sounds good. Joey was injured trying to help me. Well, uh, officer, like I was telling you, with the uh, guy who told me to do it, he gave me the uh, right. screwdriver. There. You look at me, Italian man. You'll be fine. Yeah. All right, Tony. Big mill. Screwdriver, huh? About that. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah. I hope I don't have tetanus or something. Doc, it's fine if I come in with uh. With the all right, here. all right. Calm down. No profanities here. You better keep That's a gun on that fucker. Italian. Yelling, still right, in there. Oh, this is in here. All right, let me shut you up here. Into this room. Come on. Keep Three, going. Three, two, one. Fuck. All right. Fuck oh, oh, this son of a bitch. He's All right, uh, done. 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 All right, let me cut it here. <sighs> my scissors. All right. All right. This is just done on your arm. Let me bandage it up a little bit. Jeez. Uh, am I gonna be alright, Doc? Nah, nah, well not once I bandage you up a bit more. Hey, can you put Tony in the fucking end room over there? Sorry, Tony, but I don't... I don't fucking want you near any of that guy uh, over it's there. Okay. You guys kill each other. Thank you, uh, officer. You just control that uh, son of a bitch. Uh, because I'm gonna have to. <laughs> there you go. Right. Now, so, uh, kid, what do you need? I wanted to talk to, um, well, it's unrelated, they'll, uh, the other way. I, I don't know what to do. Uh, Where are we going what up? What is it? We're uh, going to a shoe. To the shoe? What the fuck did I do? Yeah, I would, I, I would like a patient to talk to Confidential. Alright. I can't tell anybody now. I just, I just, but I want your opinion. But if it does threaten somebody else's life. There has been some talk on a, uh, impossible okay. escape. 
Hey, uh, hey, Joey, Joey. I, I why don't know. Why are you I, telling I me that? I, st I, I don't want to be sentenced any longer than I have to, and I don't want anybody to die. Alright. So I don't know if I should go tell well, the guard? First yeah. off, well, oh, here's the thing. If you do tell the guard, you got to be careful. If anybody else hears you, you know, he'll be a snitch to everybody, and that's not a good thing in here. He'd have to put you in protective custody every single day. Solitary confinement all the time. Everybody would try and kill you, no matter whether they're in the plan or not. Now, here's the other thing. The guards, I don't... Well, I'm sure the guards would put a snap to it immediately, and I might, uh, talk to them about it, but I won't mention your name at all. But, uh, who's running this little thing? I, 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 I don't want to tell you. you Alright, it's okay. Should play along and possibly okay. no. get others killed? Yes, just or? play along. I don't just know. play along for now, and I will, uh, I, no, just be quiet, listen. Right. Play along I for can't, now. I just can't. And as if nothing's I wrong. I can't. I can't. No, listen, I listen, can't. Listen, I can't listen, do listen, this. Joey, Joey, I can't. Joey, uh, Joey, Joey, Joey. I'm gonna talk to the warden in a couple of I can't fucking believe this. Uh -huh.